You've heard it all before. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Sexuality is fixed. There's a normal way to be. But what if these ideas are holding us back from truly understanding human sexuality? In the next few minutes, we'll challenge everything you thought you knew about sex, desire, and relationships. You'll discover nine eye-opening truths that will revolutionize how you view sexuality, yours, and others. By the end, you'll have a new perspective that could transform your relationships and boost your self-acceptance. Stay tuned, because what you learn might just be what you needed. The psychology of sexuality, more complex than you think. Before we dive into the misconceptions, let's understand why human sexuality is so misunderstood. Our beliefs about sex and relationships are shaped by a complex interplay of biology, culture, and personal experience. Dr. Lisa Diamond, a renowned researcher in sexual fluidity, explains that our understanding of sexuality has been limited by outdated models and societal taboos. For decades, researchers and the public alike have clung to oversimplified categories and explanations. But recent studies reveal a far more nuanced picture. Our sexual identities, desires, and behaviors are influenced by a multitude of factors, from hormones and brain chemistry to social norms and individual experiences. Now, let's explore the nine surprising truths that challenge common beliefs about sexuality. Each of these insights is backed by recent research and expert opinions. Prepare to have your assumptions challenged and your mind opened. 1. The Myth of Sexual Permanence You've probably heard that sexual orientation is fixed from birth. But what if that's not the whole story? Dr. Diamond's groundbreaking research shows that sexual attraction can be more fluid than we once thought, especially for women. In a 10-year study, she found that two out of three women change their sexual identity label at least once. This doesn't mean sexuality is a choice, but rather that our attractions can evolve over time. Understanding this fluidity can lead to greater self-acceptance and reduce anxiety about fitting in to rigid categories. This fluidity in sexuality can be particularly pronounced during major life transitions or periods of personal growth. For instance, individuals may experience shifts in their attractions or sexual identity after significant events like entering college, starting a new career, or becoming a parent. These changes don't invalidate previous experiences or identities, but rather highlight the dynamic nature of human sexuality throughout the lifespan. Two, the hidden spectrum of asexuality. When we talk about sexuality, we often focus on who people are attracted to. But what about those who experience little or no sexual attraction? Asexuality is a often overlooked orientation that challenges our assumptions about human sexuality. Recent studies suggest that asexuality may be more common than previously thought, with some estimates placing it at 1% of the population. That's 78 million people worldwide. Understanding asexuality can help us broaden our view of what constitutes a fulfilling relationship and challenge the notion that sexual desire is universal. Within the asexual spectrum, there's a wide range of experiences and identities. Some asexual individuals may enjoy romantic relationships without sexual attraction, known as romantic asexuals, while others may not experience romantic attraction either, aromantic asexuals. Some may occasionally experience sexual attraction under specific circumstances, gray asexuals, or only after forming a strong emotional bond, demisexuals. Recognizing this diversity within asexuality can help both asexual and allosexual, non-asexual individuals better understand and respect the varied ways people experience attraction and relationships. 3. The Truth About Male Sexuality Society often portrays men as simple creatures with straightforward desires. But male sexuality is far more complex than pop culture would have us believe. Dr. Andrew Smiler, author of Challenging Casanova, found that contrary to popular belief, most young men prefer relationships to casual sex. His research shows that only about 15% of guys engage in frequent casual sex, while the majority seek meaningful connections. This insight challenges toxic masculinity norms and opens up new possibilities for how we view male sexuality and relationships. The complexity of male sexuality extends beyond relationship preferences. Many men experience a range of emotional responses to sex that contradict stereotypical portrayals. For instance, some men report feeling vulnerable, emotionally connected, 
or even anxious during sexual encounters. Additionally, male sexual desire can be significantly influenced by stress, emotional well-being, and relationship dynamics, challenging the notion that men are always ready and willing to engage in sexual activity. 4. The Power of Sexual Self-Efficacy You've heard of self-esteem, but what about sexual self-efficacy? This concept, introduced by sex researcher Dr. Peggy Kleinplatz, refers to one's belief in their ability to handle sexual situations effectively. It turns out, this belief is crucial for sexual satisfaction and overall well-being. A study published in the Archives of Sexual Behavior found that individuals with high sexual self-efficacy reported 30% more sexual satisfaction than those with low self-efficacy. This suggests that building confidence in our sexual abilities may be just as important as physical techniques for a fulfilling sex life. Developing sexual self-efficacy involves more than just confidence in physical performance. It encompasses the ability to communicate boundaries, express desires, and navigate consent effectively. Individuals with high sexual self-efficacy are more likely to prioritize their own pleasure, advocate for safer sex practices, and feel empowered to explore their sexuality in ways that feel authentic to them. This can lead to more satisfying sexual experiences and healthier relationships overall. 5. The surprising link between creativity and sexuality. Here's something you probably didn't learn in sex ed. There's a fascinating connection between creativity and sexual openness. A study led by Dr. Daryl Bem at Cornell University found that creative individuals tend to be more sexually open-minded and report higher levels of sexual satisfaction. The researchers theorize that the same cognitive flexibility that allows for creative thinking also promotes sexual exploration and satisfaction. This insight suggests that nurturing our creative sides might have unexpected benefits in the bedroom. The connection between creativity and sexuality extends beyond individual experiences to impact cultural attitudes and societal progress. Historically, periods of great artistic and cultural innovation have often coincided with shifts in sexual norms and expressions. This suggests that fostering creativity on a societal level could potentially lead to more open, diverse, and accepting attitudes towards sexuality and relationships. Six. The myth of the sex drive. We often talk about sex drive as if it's a biological imperative, like hunger or thirst. But what if this concept is misleading? Dr. Emily Nagoski, author of Come As You Are, argues that the idea of a sex drive is flawed. Instead, she proposes the dual control model of sexual response. This model suggests that we have both a sexual accelerator and brakes. Understanding this can help us navigate desire discrepancies in relationships and reduce shame around varying levels of sexual interest. Understanding the dual control model can be particularly helpful in addressing sexual desire discrepancies in relationships. Instead of labeling one partner as having a high or low sex drive, couples can explore what acts as accelerators or brakes for each individual. This might involve identifying stressors that act as brakes, like work pressure or body image concerns or discovering new contexts that act as accelerators, such as certain types of date nights or forms of non-sexual intimacy. This approach can lead to more productive conversations and solutions that work for both partners. 7. The Role of Mindfulness in Sexual Satisfaction Mindfulness has gained popularity for reducing stress and improving mental health. But did you know it can also transform your sex life? A study published in the Journal of Sex Research found that individuals who practice mindfulness reported 20% higher sexual satisfaction and 30% lower sexual anxiety. This doesn't mean you need to meditate before sex. Rather, bringing present moment awareness to sexual experiences can enhance pleasure and connection. This insight offers a new tool for improving sexual satisfaction that doesn't involve complicated techniques or products. Mindfulness and sexuality goes beyond just being present during the act itself. It can be applied to how we relate to our bodies, how we process sexual thoughts and feelings, and how we approach sexual communication with partners. Mindfulness practices can help individuals become more aware of their physical sensations, reduce performance anxiety, and increase body acceptance. Some sex therapists are now incorporating mindfulness-based interventions into their practice showing promising results for treating various sexual difficulties. 8. 
The truth about pornography and relationships. Porn is a contentious topic, often blamed for relationship problems. But new research paints a more nuanced picture. A study by Dr. Taylor Kohut, published in the Journal of Social and Personal Relationships, found that couples who watched porn together reported higher relationship and sexual satisfaction compared to those who didn't. However, the impact of porn use depends on the context and communication within the relationship. This insight challenges black and white thinking about porn and emphasizes the importance of open dialogue in relationships. The impact of pornography on relationships can vary greatly depending on individual and cultural factors. In some cases, porn can serve as a tool for sexual exploration and education, helping individuals discover their preferences and boundaries in a safe environment. However, it's crucial to approach porn consumption critically, understanding that it often presents unrealistic or potentially harmful depictions of sex and relationships. Couples who choose to incorporate porn into their relationships often benefit from establishing clear boundaries and discussing how it aligns with their shared values and relationship goals. 9. The Power of Sexual Communication You've probably heard that communication is important in relationships, but when it comes to sex, many of us clam up. Here's why that's a problem. A study in the Journal of Sex Research found that couples who could openly discuss sex reported 62% higher sexual satisfaction than those who avoided the topic. The good news? Sexual communication is a skill that can be learned. Practicing open, honest conversations about desires, boundaries, and experiences can dramatically improve your sex life and overall relationship satisfaction. Effective sexual communication extends beyond just talking about sex itself. It involves developing emotional intimacy, practicing active listening, and creating a safe space for vulnerability. Couples who excel at sexual communication often report feeling more connected outside the bedroom as well. This skill can be particularly crucial during major life changes that impact sexuality, such as aging, health issues, or parenthood. By maintaining open lines of communication, couples can navigate these transitions more smoothly and maintain a satisfying sex life throughout various life stages. These insights challenge many common beliefs about sexuality. They reveal a more complex, fluid, and individualized understanding of human sexual experience. By embracing this new perspective, we can cultivate greater self-acceptance, improve our relationships, and experience more satisfying sex lives. As we wrap up, consider how these insights might apply to your own life. How might your relationships or self-perception change if you let go of outdated beliefs about sexuality? The journey to sexual self-discovery is ongoing, but armed with this new knowledge, you're better equipped to navigate it with confidence and openness. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.